Hi. My name is Vitaly. I am Russian. It is not a threat. I moved to the UK in 2016 for work. I worked on Brexit vote. Well, are you surprised to see Russian comedian here? You should be. I'm not even supposed to be here. Seriously, there was British comic on the bill, but last minute he got what I would describe as food poisoning. It's a joke. And it's funny. It's funny because I'm not from poisoning department. I work in Facebook campaigns. So before I start, guys, you all know, right, that stand-up comedy was invented in Soviet Union. You, know? you don't know that? This is true. The greatest comedian ever was Joseph Stalin. I mean, I have never seen him myself, but from what I've heard, he always killed the audience. You guys, you guys probably didn't have it in the news here, but last week in Russia there were nationwide riots and protests against the new pension law. Have you heard of that? Basically, Russian government increased pension age for men from 60 to 65 years, which feels alright, but average life expectancy in Russia... <laughs> You understand? Yeah, you understand? Those men will have to work for two more years after they die. British men don't work after they die. Different culture. All right. So, I have recently started working on my accent because I think I sound not enough Russian. <laughs> Seriously, when I speak to a British person, I can see it in their eyes. They are like, is he Polish? <laughs> they have hope. <laughs> they have hope that after Brexit I will fuck off. <laughs> never in European Union. <laughs> but uh, there is one inconvenience about not being in the EU. I need visa to visit every European country. And that's very annoying because my printer has broken. <laughs> So I currently live in North London in this beautiful Victorian house. It's a new build, but I call it Victorian because I rented from a Russian guy called Victor. So some of my British friends, whom I have just for counterintelligence purposes. Some of them say that bribery and corruption is a big problem in Russia, and they are partially right. It is big. It is just not a problem. It's a lifestyle. Seriously, when I was in Moscow, I paid bribes dozens of times. Not ashamed of that. Because it was always for the benefit of my family, right? For example, I paid a bribe for my brother to get into better school. I paid a bribe for my dad to get driving license. I paid a bribe 
for my niece to get a confidential abortion. <laughs> what? It was a birthday present. <laughs> it's not every day you turn 14. <laughs> and, at, and at that point in time, I was not prepared to become a father. <laughs> Seriously, guys, what do we think? Do you think it's alright to pay a bride if it's for well-being of your close ones? Yes. It's alright? Yes. I think so. Who are the couples? <laughs> you guys are a couple? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah. You guys too, right? <laughs> What's your name, lovely lady? <laughs> Sophie, do you love him? <laughs> Yeah? No? <laughs> anyway, imagine he is dying. <laughs> imagine he is dying and you guys live in Russia. <laughs> Those two things usually go hand in hand. <laughs> and he requires urgent operation, right? And waiting time for this type of surgeries Three months. I don't know about you, Sophie, but like, if I were you, I would most certainly pay a bribe, yeah? To extend that waiting time. <laughs> All I'm trying to say is, Sophie, you can do much better. Moving on to less controversial topic. <laughs> Gay rights. <laughs> A lot of people say that gay rights are violated in Russia. Not true at all. There is no gay discrimination in Russia. In Russia, gays have exactly the same rights as women. <laughs> In Russia, everyone has equal rights. Gays, women, Jews, horses. <laughs> Sophie. You have an opportunity to choose now. What I'm gonna speak about next. Women, Jews, or horses. What? Horses? Why? I have a theory. It's because you are afraid of what I have to say about women and Jews. So let's start with women. My second favorite topic. After the Cold War. So look. I never had much success with women. I haven't had a girlfriend in five years. And it's all because of my wife. <laughs> Any Russian wives in the room? All at home, all right. Uh, Russian wife, I'll explain you what it is. A Russian wife is always nearby. Wherever you go, whatever you do, she's always behind your back, watching like a wolf, making sure you don't speak to other women, you don't even look at other women. You know, I go meet my friends in the pub, she's behind my back watching. I go to gym, she's behind my back watching. I'm having sex, she's behind my back watching. I'm having sex with her, still there. Let's move to something more mainstream. <laughs> Give me a cheer if you like popular music. I hate popular music. <laughs> a 
and I hate it because popular songs are usually factually inaccurate. And I only listen to factually accurate music. For example, I really love Russia's national anthem. It goes like that, sing along. Glorious Russia, big and strong. Glorious Russia, big and strong. Glorious, big and strong Russia. Factually accurate. That's factually accurate, right? Now compare that, for example, to like a pop song, to Justin Timberlake's Cry Me a River. Cry Me a River, what the fuck? Seriously, I have been to Crimea. There is no river. Uh, look guys, I think I have to go. Sorry, I have lots to do. Democracy will not terminate itself. But don't worry guys, I will be watching you all from your laptops. Thank you very much.